Welcome back, everybody. This is our Algebra 2 Linear Functions Lesson 7, Systems of Linear Equations, Home Review, Part 4. We're done with our last question. And I hope you guys watched Parts 1, 2, and 3. Uh, again, uh, hopefully, in this case, they've been helpful as we're progressing through systems of equations, linear equations. Uh, and in this case, going from uh, 2 by 2 to 3 by 3s of difficult, difficult, uh, different uh, difficulty, difficulty levels. This one <clears throat> is question number seven. Algebraically, solve the following system equations. The system will take more manipulation because there are no variables with coefficients equal to one. And so we have 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 33. 4x plus 5y plus 3z equals 54. And neg 6x minus 2y minus 8z equals negative 50. So we're going to try to figure out, well, a plan. We have situations where none of the variables have a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. We can try to divide one of the equations by one of the variable's coefficients. <clears throat> the idea is that if we can kind of get either a 1x or a 1y or 1z <clears throat> by dividing everything by the same value, then we can use that to help us solve like we did in the last problem. If that's not possible, then we can pick the, uh, pick two equations should be a two a TWO, <laughs> two equations, and choose a variable to eliminate by multiplying both equations by values that will give a variable uh, that will give a, uh, that will give a variable from both equations opposite coefficients. The meaning in this case is that if you can't divide by the same value, what we're gonna do is find the least common multiple between you know for a particular variable between two equations. And we'll multiply each of those equations by a particular value to get the else the least common multiple that of opposite values. So you can pick a, either x or y or z and then multiply the two equations by enough so that they can cancel out the particular that particular variable. And we'll repeat the process again with a, another pair of variable, another pair of equations. So let's go back to our problem here. So we see in this case, we can't divide any, uh, any of the numbers in the first equation by the same number because they, they don't all divide by two evenly or three evenly. In the second equation, we cannot do that either because we have uh, no, no value you can divide by, by, in this case, of four, five, or three. But we do see in the third equation that we can possibly multiply everything by a value of two. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to divide each of these terms in this equation by 2. To get, in this case, negative 3x minus 1y minus 4z equals neg 25. And in this situation, we're going to be getting rid of the y values. Now, how does it work out? Well, we see in our first equation... 2x minus 3y, so 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 33. So we're going to multiply this equation here. The take the uh, multiply the equation negative 3x minus 1y minus 4z equals neg 25, and multiply both sides by. Well, if we want to get rid of the y. And we have a negative 1y in this equation and a positive y in the first equation, we'll multiply both sides by 3. Because now when we distribute, we will have negative 9x minus 3y minus 12z equals negative 75. We combine this with the, the first equation of 2x plus 3y minus 2z equals 33 and add downwards and so in this situation we'll get negative 7x the y's cancel the out because negative 3y plus positive y cancels out to zero and neg 12z minus 2z will give us negative 14z and of course negative 75 plus 33 should give us negative 42. Okay, all right, so now we have our first equation. And again, I'll group this together and 
make this a little smaller to fit, make some space for the other except pair of equations. Okay. Now, for the second equation. So the second equation here, we have a 4x plus 5y plus 3z equals 54. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply our negative 3x minus 1y minus 4z equals neg 25 and multiply both sides by positive 5. And so here we're going to get negative 15x minus 5y minus 20z equals neg 125. That's a 20z. Okay. And then we're going to add underneath it the second equation, 4x plus 3y, uh, plus 5y actually, plus 3z equal to 54. And if we add downwards, we'll get, in this case, the negative 15x plus 4x will give us negative 11x. And we see in this case the negative 5y and the positive 5y cancel each other out. And then 20, negative 20z plus 3z will give us negative 17z. And the negative 125 plus 54 will give us, uh, let's see now, that's a 1, I guess negative 71. Okay. Now we're going to try to cancel out uh, we'll try to cancel out uh, one of the variables when we're looking for these common multiple. But then again, the strategy of trying to divide everything by the same numerical value, if we can, we see this with our blue equation here. Everything can be divided by negative 7. And you might say, why negative 7? Well, our green equation has all the negative terms. So if we divide everything here by negative 7, we will get a positive 1x plus 2z is equal to positive 6. And we see in this case now, we have a coefficient of 1 for x. And we can manipulate this again by multiplying this new equation by, well, the opposite of, of negative 11 is positive 11. So distributing, we'll get 11x plus 22z equals 66. If we add downwards, we're going to get in this case, well, the uh, negative 11x and the positive 11x cancel that out. And we're going to get in this case, negative, negative 17z plus 22z will give us a positive 5z. And a negative, 61, negative 71 uh, plus 66 will give us negative 5. Divide both sides by 5, we get z equals to negative 1. Now, we want to, we want to find now the, you know, the next variable values. We have z here. And so we see that back from the original equation of 1x plus 2z equals 6, we can plug the z value in here. And we're going to get, in this case, 1x plus 2 times negative 1 should equal to 6, or x minus 2 equals 6. Adding 2 to both sides, we get a value of x equal to positive 8. And now, now we have two variables, the value of two variables, we can plug in those two values into one of the equations, and probably going to go with the, probably with the third equation, the first equation here, 2x plus 3y equals 30, minus 2z equals 33. It doesn't matter which one we choose. I'm going to make a little bit of room here for ourselves. And so we're going to plug in here, and now we're going to get, in this case, 2 times 8, because 2x plus 3y, which we don't know y is equal to, minus 2z, which is negative 1. So negative 2 times negative 1 should equal to 33. I mean, 16 plus 3y plus 2 equals 33. 3y plus 18 equals 33. 
subtracting 18 of both sides, we get 3y is equal to, I guess it'll be 15. Divide both sides by 3, y is equal to 5. And so our answer, our final answer will be in this situation, x equals 8, y equals 5, let's say 8, and z equals negative 1. We could perform a check against all three of the equations to see whether or not they, they satisfy the, all three, and we'll find that they will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's uh, make this entire page and take a look here. And this is our last question for the homework assignment. And so we'll see, we will have to probably put a lot more work into some of these problems, but there's always, we always look to see if there is a possible way of maybe simplifying things for ourselves. But yes, we'll save the most challenging question for last. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have, please give the video a like. And of course, um, leave any comments or questions in the comment section below. We really appreciate that. Uh, it helps with the channel. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already, and turn on notifications to know when new videos are added to the channel. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and you're learning about uh, solving systems of linear equations. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, take care and be safe.